Welcome, Milhas family. I'm going to take you through this week's meal. This week we are doing paying homage to an old restaurant that we used to run called Mountain West Burrito. So if there's any Mountain West Burrito fans, you'll be enjoying this meal. We're going to do a burrito, so it'll have some grilled chicken, rice and beans, some pico, Monterey Jack, and their signature hot sauce on the side. And then we're going to do a Caesar salad. It'll have some tomatoes and kale, uh, Caesar dressing, Parmesan cheese, and croutons. Let's get started. To get started for our salad, I have cut up the romaine and mixed it with the shredded kale, so that's ready to go in a bowl. We've got our cheese and croutons and dressing. We're just gonna cut the tomatoes. I'm gonna cut them in half and just toss them in with the lettuce. You can quarter them if you want or dice them, whatever you like best. I use a serrated knife when I'm doing tomatoes. Unless you have a really sharp chef's knife, that's still usually the best to cut through them. We're gonna add all of our dressing, our Caesar dressing. We're gonna add our cheese and our croutons. Gonna use a glove to mix this up. Kale adds some nice heartiness to the salad, a good crunch as well. Make sure it's mixed really well. Get all the good stuff here on top. And here we have our kale and romaine Caesar with shaved Parmesan, tomatoes, croutons, and Caesar dressing. To get started for our burritos tonight, I've heated these tortillas up. These are flour tortillas. I've warmed them just on a, in a Teflon pan over medium heat. Just about 10, uh, maybe 20 to 30 seconds per uh, tortilla, flipping them over. You want to work with them when they're warm. So when they're warm, they, I don't know if you can see, they, they have like a little bit of a pliability or a stretch, which is great, especially when we're wrapping the burrito. So that will help so it doesn't tear. So that's part of it. We won't, we'll try not to overfill them as well. So we've got our beans and rice, which have been warmed up in the microwave. Uh, our pico, the chicken, I've warmed up just barely in the microwave as well. So we'll start with our beans. We're gonna work, we're gonna be building right in the center of the, or just off center on the burrito. And we'll start with the beans. That'll give us some space to roll it up when it's time to roll it up. You may not need all of them, that's okay. We're gonna go rice. do our chicken next. I'm just going to use the glove. So chicken will just kind of nestle in there. Okay. And then we're gonna go some pico. Ah, these are looking good. And then cheese. Okay. 
Okay. So now we're gonna fold these up and we're gonna start, we start on the side and we're gonna just take this up and over and we're gonna allow this to tuck in. And we can, because these are pliable, we can kind of stretch that a little bit. And we're just gonna kind of pull back while holding the sides. And we can pull that back and just roll that up. And we will do this again on the second one. Holding those sides. Just get everything in and up and over. You can put a little less in if you don't want them to be so full. And then we're gonna roll. And we have our burritos like so. So you can, because everything is warm right now, you certainly can just cut these and start eating. Um, the other thing you could do if you want, you can, put, you can drop these back into the pan and warm them back up just a little bit more. That will melt some of the cheese. Um, you could also roll them ahead of time if you wanted, and then you could just warm them up when you're ready. So we'll go ahead and get these plated up. So I did go ahead and put these burritos in the pan just to warm them up a little bit, or just to kind of griddle them a little. This will ensure that everything is nice and toasty. You don't have to do this, but it is a nice touch. And I just flattened them just a touch so that they'll heat a little more evenly. So you can see they got a nice brown color on top. So we are now going to get these ready. These are nice and toasty. So we can just cut these. Ah, that looks amazing. So we can put those on the plate here. And we have our house-made hot sauce as well uh, in honor of Mountain West Burrito. And so here we have our grilled chicken burrito with beans, rice, pico, cheese, and house-made hot sauce.